It's a privilege to be joined today on the summit by Tyler Fenwick, who has taken the head football position at Missouri Western. Congratulations, Coach. You returned to St. Joseph to become the seventh head coach in program history for the Griffins. Again, congratulations on the new gig. Uh, yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, uh, Joey. Um, you know, it's good to be uh, up here and kind of getting settled and all that stuff, but I appreciate you taking the time to get me on. Well, Coach, I, I know there's a lot to talk about in St. Joseph right now. Obviously, you, you already, you're already supporting the Griffin swag right now, so uh, that, that's a good thing, getting ready for the new season. We're already here in 2023, our first program of 2023 here on Midwest Sportsnet. I'd like to talk about your previous stop really quickly. You've had a couple of them, but most recent stop at Southeastern Oklahoma State University with the Savage Storm took them to – Bowl appearances in each of your previous two years, and what a turnaround from 2019, one and nine of the biggest turnaround in Division Two uh, to the next year, nine and three following that. Can you talk about your previous stop? Yeah, you know Southeastern is. Um, I mean, it was. It's a great place. I mean, it. I, I, you know, I met some really good people there. Um, the administration is is uh, phenomenal to work with. Um, you know, I consider those those people, Co Coach Baxter and President Newsom and and Cherry Wilmoth. And, and, and the whole crew, uh, Seth and Katie, I mean, you know, just great people to work work with and work for. And, um, you know, I just, um, you know, I'm blessed to um, have had a chance to, um, you know, be around those kind of people and, and you know, the support and all that other stuff. And, and so, you know, just the opportunity to, and even the community was so supportive and, and really uh, invited our family in. Um, and you just couldn't ask for anything uh, better for, you know, you know, in this, in this coaching business, you know, things, things happen. You kind of just go wherever the wave takes you and wherever the wind blows and, and, um, you know, things come up and things happen and all that stuff. But, you know, I'll, I'll forever be grateful for Keith for hiring me and uh, allowed me to be, um, you know, lead that program. Well, Coach, uh, a, a new opportunity now. I guess it's an old opportunity. You're returning to St. Joseph, and and I, I see the the great facilities behind you right there. Welcome back to the MIAA, and it's it's a, a very tough football conference in Division Two, one of the toughest. I, I'm sure you've had a chance to visit with your team already. Sixteen all MIAA performers from last year's squad. Some of those move on. You'll return some of them as well. Can you talk about what you see in this team so far? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's uh, you know, I had a I had a brief team meeting when I first got hired, and and you know, you go through the whole press conference and you know, going around the facilities and all that other stuff, and and uh, and then you know, meet the team. So, um, you know, I met the team, I talked a little bit with the team. We kind of had some, um, you know, about an hour, of maybe forty five minutes or whatever, of just um, you know, getting to know each other just a little bit on a uh, on the surface. But um, after that, it was uh, you know the the players leave for the break and, and, um, you know, the students are off campus for, uh, for a while. And, and so we actually haven't, um, you know, I, I've gotten a chance to kind of sit down with a few of them here and there, uh, that are up here, but, um, you know, really looking forward to, uh, getting these guys back on campus. We don't start, um, school until, uh, next week. Um, and so they'll all be back kind of, you know, we'll have an uh, official team meeting and, and, and set the, you know, the expectations and, and the standards and, and the way that we do things and introduce the staff and all that. So, um, but, you know, from, from talking to, you know, some other coaches around the conference and um, some people that I know, um, you know, they, they, they've all said really good about the talent that we've got on this team and, and what we're taking over and, and, you know, trying to, you know, kind of figure out, uh, you know, and I think it'll take us, this, you know, the whole semester to kind of go through the workouts and go through spring practice and really get a good get a good evaluation of um, of who we are and the direction we're going to be, you know, going in and, and what we're going to look like and all that stuff. But um, that's part of you know, the fun part. I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, um, you know, I, I look forward to the offseason relational part of, of building, um, you know, building the program from from. Uh, um, you know, the way we want to do the way that I'm used to doing things and, and everybody's, you know, got a different way and, and, uh, it'll take on the, you know, the personality that our coaching staff has and, and, uh, just working together with these guys to, uh, you know, build the relationship and the trust between each other. And, um, you know, looking forward to teaching guys, uh, the, the you know, what we're, what we're going to do. 
We're visiting now with Tyler Fenwick here on Midwest Sports Net, and I encourage you, please take the time to like this video and share it, and please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help as we talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Uh, Tyler Fenwick, the new head football coach at Missouri Western. Coach, uh, you were talking briefly, you mentioned your staff, and it's a staff that has been assembled, seems to uh, be in the process of being completed, and there are familiar names, not only from your previous stops as a head coach, but also alums that are coming back and uh, some former coaches as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm really fired up about the staff that we're able to put together and you know the resources that we have to put that together uh, here at Missouri Western. Um, you know, It started with, with obviously Coach Johnson and Co- Coach uh, Throckmorton, um, who were with me at, at uh, Southeastern, the two coordinators. Um, you know, those guys have been guys that I've been with in the past and, and, um, you know, we, we understand how we all work together. And, um, and then from there, we were able to kind of, you know, put together some, some, you know, a very good dynamic, um, group of guys that, uh, you know, have a lot of different, um, strengths, I guess, uh, you know, we, we were able to steal a couple from, uh, from the MIAA that, you know, had already kind of been into the recruiting process with their previous, um, schools and programs and and so bringing them over we you know, kind of helped us kind of get a head start on just the relational part of recruiting this region um and then obviously bringing in uh you know some guys from uh, that i've worked with in the past shane dowdy was with me at missouri uh, s t uh for a couple of years uh, and a coach the safeties and special teams um uh aaron bell very western when i was a coordinator here receiver coach and so um, really excited to get him back. Uh, and then, um, you know, like I said, the guys from the MIAA, uh, Michael Gallo is not only from Missouri Southern, but he's also uh, an alum from, from Missouri Western. So that, uh, in fact, I actually recruited him uh, probably, I don't know, six, seven years ago when I was at Missouri S&T and didn't get him. Um, but uh, but I've, he was also at Southwestern. So when we played against Southwestern, while I was at Southeastern, I always recognized him and, and uh, you know, noticed him. Eric Moore's a guy at Emporia that I was, gone against the last few years and and um you always see him out on the recruiting road and does a great job recruiting um you know so yeah just uh really really excited and then obviously you know we were able to uh, patrick st louis was on staff here before and he's an alum and he's actually a guy that i coached back in 07 um who was our center back then so he's going to move over and coach backs and and so it's just a really good uh, uh group of guys that um uh, you know so far i mean you know we've, I, I've know a lot of, them, but, you know, like coach Johnson doesn't know, you know, he, he didn't know some of those other guys and it's really uh, being up here and we're, <laughs> we're sharing a dorm right now. So <laughs> we're getting very close and, and learning about uh, each other pretty quickly. And, and, uh, but it's like, we've, we've known each other for a while. So it's been pretty cool. That's one way to do it for sure. Yeah. Definitely. Yes. Coach, you were there for six years in St. Joseph as the offensive coordinator. And during that time, 53 and 18 had six, postseason appearances in your six seasons there as well. And so I would just ask you, what's it going to take to win in the MIAA in 2023? Yeah, it's a, it's definitely a very competitive conference. And, um, you know, it's, it's different than when I was here before um, in the sense that when I was here, um, you know, we were the first ones to build an indoor facility and, you know, along with the Kansas City Chiefs coming in and helping that, helping out. But since then, everybody's, it's kind of been an arms race. And so, um, you know, from a recruiting standpoint, you know, everybody has an indoor, just about everybody, you know, a nice facility to recruit to and all that. So it is very competitive. I think, um, you know, there's some really good talent. Uh, it's a very physical um, uh, conference. Um, and, you know, I think that, you know, for us to, uh, you know, get back to competing for um, postseason play and, and championships, I mean, you know, we're going to have to coach them up. We're going to have to bring the right kind of guys uh, from the region, from the area uh, in here and, and develop them, uh, you know, get them in the weight room, get them bigger and stronger and then, you know, and, and coach them up. And then, you know, I think, the, the, you know, what, what we're about is, is obviously development, but also relationally develop them and, and, and build a trust within the uh, within the roster and, and the coaching staff and, uh, you know, kind of intertwine that all together. So uh, looking forward to, I mean, there's a lot to learn. Uh, right now from from uh you know who we have like I was talking before but you know looking forward to um, getting these guys back on campus and just you know a little bit more in depth and learning about who they are and and what makes them tick and and how competitive we can get them and, and all that stuff so um, be a lot of fun well congratulations again on the new job 
in St. Joseph, Missouri Western head football coach Tyler Fenwick here with us on the summit today on Midwest Sportsnet. Coach, uh, thank you for taking time with us today, and we are going to be following the Griffins in 2023. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate it again. Thanks for uh, having me on, Joey. 